welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, Gav here, Lucy on the camera. Hello. And I've got my vest on. Again. And today we're going to show you something we don't show you on our channel, we just do it ourselves. Uh, at the minute we're, Lucy and I are breeding and we've got loads, like not ourselves, but we've got loads <laughs> of sacks. We've just got another Piaminia double drop. We've got a few other sacks going on. We've bred enough um, for ourselves. Which we're not going to tell you about, we're just doing that with ourselves. But today I'm just going to feed some and this is all one species. So today we're feeding the pokies. So we've got Pulsophilia and today we're feeding Tigrina Selly. I can never say <laughs> that properly. Tigrina Wesselis. And normally every time I go in and feed these, these were slings, but I think they're getting onto five centimetres, six centimetres, some of these. But every time we feed these, they literally, can you see them as well? They literally escape. Um, they're so fast, unpredictable. I've got a few mops in here. I've got mold in one, which we need to sort out. So we'll just go through and we'll show you them. So let's see if any fly out. But I am, seriously, they do just go everywhere. They want to get away, so, don't they? Let's go on with feeding. So I think the first one first is let's do this one with mold. Yeah, which one was it again? That one, yep. This one, mm -hmm. right. So this one here has mold. So with a, a pokey, like you can see in here, we've got no mold for any of the others and you just pick up bits all the way through. But sometimes I reckon we're getting mold just through to the products of animals, as in crickets and stuff like that. They could have spores on them or if they die and they don't eat it, because sometimes the pokey will kill the cricket and not eat it. And then that will end up creating spores and going through. So I need to see if I can get this one out. Um, what I might do is just get it out in here. They can, they can run, these can run out the same way, can't they, I think? Uh, probably. probably. I've took the lid straight off. For those of you that get these, um, we're going to show you in the next video as well a different species of pokey, which we've got quite a few slings. Um, how many of these was there? 15. We've yeah. got 15 of these today. So when you take the lid off, always be careful taking the lid off because even though you see them down on the cork bark, they are extremely fast and could be up on your hand before you know it. And that's me telling you from experience. These always run so, out, these ones. These always do run out, but what I'm going to do is try and get this one out on the cork bark so that it's a little bit calmer and it doesn't want to run off anywhere. And we'll just show you this. This is one of the smaller ones, I think. Some of them are a lot bigger. I always have the spritz bottle ready when you take the lid off, and if you give them a little spritz, they run back down again, don't they? Right, so you can see already the camouflage on there. And these are so misleading. I mean, I said we got these at 2.5 centimetres, uh, this individual here is probably oh, five centimetres. Easy, dude. Easy. Easy now. Easy. See what I mean? Look, then he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Super fast. There you go, dude. There you go. Calm down. Calm Can't down. even catch him on the camera. He's so fast. Calm down. Just let him go in here. Calm down. Calm down. All right. You can look at that while I quickly change this. Let's get a little look at you. They've got gorgeous markings, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, it looks really dark again. What's that? On? Yeah, that's the camera there. It's just because you've got the light from the window. Yeah, I love their stripy legs. Like black and white stripes. Oh. Permanent maintenance. Yeah. It's fun though. <laughs> All right. You see? Do -do -do. Do -do. I even catch him on here most of the time, he's so fast. <laughs> he's just not bothered. They just want to hide it, don't they? There's still no fret poses or anything. Yeah. Well, that's my friend. Mm, yeah. Mold free home. See if we can get him straight in. Do some laps of the tub. God damn it. Plop. Yeah. 
Yes. Slow down now, look. They do settle after a while as well, don't they? Yeah. So we've put them in there and we're going to feed them as well. But these pokies, when they're a lot smaller and you get them out of a dark area, they don't normally take. So you have to leave them in the dark and we find that they take. So this one here in particular, I'm going to give a smaller cricket. It's very rare that the tigs take when they're out. The vitatas are bolder, aren't Some they? Some of these will now that you'll see. All right, so that's the first one done. One done. 14 to go. Right, now let's just quickly do some feeding of these. Hang on, let me move Check this out Check if they've the got monks. Get, get the tub out where. Right, remember what I said, take this off slowly, not like the way I just did it. I just don't care if they come out because they've got webbing at the top. As soon as you pull the webbing, if they're hungry, they shoot up instantly. Um, so we've got another malt. Now I know this one hasn't malted recently, at least last week. And it's done a weird web it's cocoon, you can't even tunnels. see it. Yeah. So we'll give a small cricket. That is awesome webbing, look at that. Down on there. So sorry you couldn't see that one. You get a good view of a cricket. Spritz on there. Trust me, you'll see some in a minute because they always come out. So that's number two. Number three, oh, this one always runs around. We've no numbered them as well, so that's number nine, but this one. There's a molt in there again. It is. They're molting fast at the minute, aren't they? Since it's got warmer, they've been molting loads, haven't they? Yeah. Right, so let me just see if this one will eat. Nope. No, nope, but they always eat when we put them back in. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's gonna go, it's gonna go. No? Nope. Yeah, I always put the lid over and then split the lid. This one lid, always lid. runs out. <laughs> now, I don't think we're gonna stress this one by leaving it in with the cricket. When it's in the dark, where we keep them, after about an hour, that'll be gone. That's three. Let's have a look at these. They're all from the same sack as well. So some are slightly different sizes to others. Others are massive, others are smaller. Loads of molts. Yeah, they're all molting because it's so warm. It's good. Right. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I moved it way too far. Give him a nice spritz. And you can't see that one. We've got some of them that will stay. In that one. No, because it's just molted. Oh. That's molted in less than a week because I. It's a hard thing when you start. You um, remember them all, don't you? Yeah, when you start having babies and they all molt at different times, for some reason I can just remember. Plus, looking at the molt, how dry it is, and looking at the spider as well, I just seem to know when they're ready to eat. I don't know how, but I just do. All right. Fine. We're going to show you a few more. They might not all eat, but we've got quite a few molts. And this is the other thing. This is what annoys me, but they all do it. So this is the Tigreen SE. This is smaller than the other ones, but they're all from the same sack. So the leggier ones, it's quite obvious they're male. Um, so these ones are potentially female. But when you do these tubs, these tubs are brilliant for air circulation, holes at the top, all the way up the sides. But individuals, if you look at the top of these enclosures, right, so you can see it's clear, it's clear, clear. This one's webbed all the way over, that one's <laughs> webbed over, that one's webbed over. This one's done a tube within it, and some of them have buried. That one's done nothing. <laughs> so they're all completely different. There's not one bit of web in there, no. but it's just sat there. So they're all Lazy. completely different. And what I'm trying to say is this one here. Obviously, they can still bite at this size. Um, and you can see that's still scrunched up, and it's about from there to there. I know it doesn't look like on the camera, but if you bring it in, it is, yeah. that is. So that's still four and a half centimetres. But they put the web in up to the top. So if you don't pay attention and go like that, you're going to have one right in your hands. But they always do it right by the door Where as well. Where the lip so is, yeah. I just know I'm comfortable. Oh, I normally so you have to be very careful. Spritz bottle if they go and then it does get yeah. them down. Right, so we'll take that off. I'm just going to entice this one with a little cricket. You're beautiful. Look at that. Away. 
no, not ready. So I'm going to leave that one there. Give it a little spritz. There you go, he's run off because he doesn't want to get wet. But we just do the fine mist on the web and around just to give them some moisture. See if we can get one of these to eat. Right, so how many is that? That's five. Yeah. Are these big enough now where you could put the little, you know, you glue the tiny little water? Yeah, um, you could do the little ink pots that yeah. we get. But the reason I haven't is just because I'm purely going to use these for other species as well. Once these are too big, they're going in something else. But okay. we're in here all the time doing maintenance. So they it's never absolutely dry out, fine. Yeah. yeah. Right, so let's see. I love how camouflage they are on the bark. Did you get oh, it? Yeah, yeah. you took. Right, we've got one that's taken. I'll put an adult picture up on the green of an adult one of these because they are beautiful because they have the black coloration, but it's also, I think, oily. It's an oily pattern. Uh, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So I love the white markings on them. And I think if you see now through the rest of these spiders that we're going to feed, if you start looking at them and you can see that this one here, like you can see how thin the legs are, but the legs are almost the length of the entire body. And we've got some which we reckon are definite females and they are not in these proportions, but we've got quite a few like this. And I'll show you now, the females, when you spray them, don't run around. Have you noticed that? Nope. They just sit there, but yet this one will sprint off because the males get really skittish. But as soon as they start putting a bit of web or having a home in there and they're comfortable, they don't normally run out of the enclosure, do they? No. But yeah, see this one here, this one I believe is a female. You can see it's right down in here, but it's so camouflaged you can't even see it. It's doing that pokey thing where all the legs are at the front legs, yeah. and the legs are at the back. Now this one's smaller but looks chunkier, so I think this one's a female. We've not had a chance to sex any of them yet. But we'll... I love how they um, put, can their... You see down there? put their front legs all squished one way and their back legs squished the other, so they are laid straight and flat. And then you just can't see them at all, can yeah. you? Right, so that one, she ain't going to come out to eat. It's normally only the males that will take. Right, can you see that one? Facing up? Yeah. There you go. So they are so well camouflaged. But I like how they look tiny when they're squished up and then they move and they're not. Right, so we've seen one eat. Let's see if I can get another one to eat. Right, ready? Oh, just that. Oh, he took it straight yeah. off. Did you get it? See the fangs in it? You see his little fangs? Oh, look at that. Mm. It's thumbnail right there. Thumbnail. That's got to be the, the fangs thumbnail. In it. It? Yeah, that is Beautiful. so cool. Beautiful. Love these. I love pokies. They're just so <laughs> I do. colourful. They've got, they demand your attention. Don't they? Because they're so fast and unpredictable. But even though they're just awesome, even though they're so fast, still, if one goes on your body or quickly runs on your arm, your reaction is to freak out and get off. But if I had to have any of them run on my body, it would be a pokey because out of all of our pokies, they don't really bite. They don't really show that aggression, do they, or anything like that? I think they just want to run away. They're really calm. They're light sensitive. Um, there's so many like brachypalmas like are at them, take my hand off. Yeah. As soon as I go in it, uh, albiceps again, take my hand off. Yeah. Uh, but these, they've got the potential, but it doesn't mean they use it. What's it's Shakira's the one that scares me? Oh yeah, me. Shakira. Yeah, she's uh, peeing them. Yeah. She's just proper yeah, badass. Right. Let's get on with more these we got. Well, you just did um, Pookie seven. the Metallica a minute ago, didn't you? And she ran out, and you just went and blew, yeah. and she went straight back in. Right now, look at the difference in this. If you can see, there's a molt, and I think this one was done. That looks really skinny. A week ago, but look at the size difference compared to what I just showed yeah, you four to five. But they're all from the same set. This one here is still eating, but this is the one that I think will be female as well. See if I can get you a shot at it. If you can see, she's right down here, but she's half the size of the last couple you've seen, but she's still eating. Mm. Right, so mm, running away. 
There she goes, she opens up, but there you go. If you look at, zoom in on the body, there you go. Oh, so wow, you that. can see already, comparative to what you just saw with the male, the legs are more in proportion, a bit more body weight. Um, this is where I think this one's a female too. And we are getting really good at sex in these just off the look of them. So She's tiny compared yeah, to the But look the at the colours. Beautiful. Stunning. Right, okay, let's have a look at what we've got again. We've got another malt. And this one's a prolific webber. Web absolutely everywhere. So how many malts is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Where is the other one? Where is spider? Mm. Right, this yeah, one's squished. sort of... They I don't know, mangled it, so let's just see, a little cricket. Can't really see. It's a bit bigger, this one, so it's right down there. Oh, this one's got right bluey feet, can you see down there? No, it's in the dark, can't see that one. Oh, it's a good size, you see it there? Nope. Oh yeah, ooh. Very fast in I there. just love how deceiving they are in size. Yeah, right. See, in this one, it's done like a little circular den. Oh, oh. This one's chunkier. Let's see what feed. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. I remember when you first got these and I just couldn't spot where they were. You can tell. Totally yeah, they tell. were tiny then. Though, yeah, you can tell a lot quicker now. Right, let's see. It's a good size one. Oh, it's gone blurry. Where's it gone? One side the webbing. Oh, so that one's not going to eat. It keeps blurring in and out. Yeah, it's just one of my focus. <sighs> right, What's three that? left. Right, you can see that one. It's under the hammock it's done. Yeah. Can you see it? Yep. How big is that one? It's good size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to fill this. Oh, you can see the legs, can you? Yeah. Let me just put that over here so it walks. Yeah, that one's a good size for it, but I doubt it's going to eat it at the minute. Go down. No, we'll leave that in there because they will eat, but at least you can see another one. Right, okay, so I've jinxed mm -hmm. it because we said that they normally run out. Normally they always do, mm -hmm. but for some reason today they're not. This one's hidden behind. I'm getting... They're behaving. Put a little tiny one in for this one. Doubt you're going to see them. Not even moving. No, not moving at all. Right, I'll come back around this way. Well, at least you've got to see a couple. We've got two left. Um, we should be able to see at least another one. This one, look, not much webbing, but yet you can't see it. Yeah. And it's molted again. Oh, there he is. So this is another smaller one. Can you see? No. Nope. She's down there, look. See the colours? They just blend in so well, don't they? Can't see it. See it? From the same side. Yeah, I can so see it So the side's different, so I reckon that's a female. So let's give her a little, little tiny one. No. Oh, there you go. See her now? Yeah, I love how fast they are. There we go, let's get to the last one. It's just, we're on the last one of these, but it's just, if you are breeding these, um, we can't stress enough, like that all seemed fine, nice and easy as we did it, but trust me, this is how it never goes. There's normally one or two out running around everywhere, and the potential of getting bitten is a lot higher, but if you stay calm, it should be fine, but we wanted to show you how erratic it goes, but obviously today, they're all fine. Or if I jinxed it with the last mm -hmm. one. Maybe they're all hot. <laughs> well, they've all been molting and stuff, anyway. You can see that one's in the middle of the cork bark. Give it a nice spray. This one's scrunching all up. I'm going to leave a cricket in there anyway, because there's no malt for this one. 
Look at the camouflage under the webbing. They are so camouflaged, aren't they? There we go, and that one will get it in the dark. So you couldn't get the best of shots, but um, there you go. There's all our takes that we've never really shown you on the channel before. So it was just basically just trying to show you how um, you can have a few of these. Individuals can be completely different to um, some of the others. Um, like you see that some webbed up on the top of the, the lid, some have webbed in a cocoon at the bottom, some have done no webbing whatsoever and just dug underneath and they've still done that now even though they're so big and then others have done so much webbing it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. But you always have to be careful with these but they are just beautiful and um, they are definitely good to have but it's just because you've got the number of them, the chances of something happening goes up. But uh, yeah, so really I know you can see fun. a lot of those. But um, yeah, there are Polsteria, uh, Tigrina Wesseli. Yeah. yeah. I could never say it normally. <laughs> so that's those. So I hope you enjoyed that, seeing those for a change because we did have them about this big. So we thought there's no point you seeing them until they start getting bigger. So we're going to start showing you other things we've got. I've got some other more expensive tarantulas that I've just never put on the channel because they I've got them at so small and I wanted to make sure that they're doing perfectly right before I go showing them off because I get really upset if I do a video and then they die like a month or two later and it, I'm always reminded when I'm on YouTube and yeah. I see it so I want to wait till they're sustained decent size five centimeters over but we've got quite a few other they're all established now aren't they aren't we? yeah which we're not going to show but I hope you enjoyed that so check us out on the next one so see you later bye